Hi friends! Today I am here with my future daughter-in-law's mama. Hi mama! Hello! <laughs> how are you doing? Good! And she's going to teach us how to make fried apples like Cracker Barrel does, if you've ever been to Cracker Barrel. Okay, Mama, what kind of ingredients are we gonna have to have? Okay, we've got to have some cornstarch, sugar, brown sugar, right here, a uh, little bit of apple juice, and of course, apples and butter. And what kind of apples are those? These are Fuji apples. Fuji apples. I usually use uh, like Granny Smith or Gala apples, mm -hmm. but this is all I've got today. And Red Delicious are good too. Okay. And we'll tell quantities and measurements as we as we go. Okay, let's get started. All right. And we start with washing your apples off and then cutting them in half. About how many apples do you need? Uh, I'm doubling this recipe. The recipe calls for uh, four medium apples, but I'm doubling. I'm using okay. eight. Okay. And so okay. you cut the apples, then you quarter them. And of course, I usually use a core, but I didn't even think about it today. And I'm sure Kennedy probably doesn't have an apple core. <laughs> but, and then you just get the core out. And then Cut them in small pieces. I'm not sure about what size that is. Some of them may be too small, some may be too big. We have I, different like this, sizes. I like the, app, the recipe already because we do not have to peel them. Yes, <laughs> and you do not peel the apples because they will lose the, the, uh, the apples will cook down and it'll lose their shape and they'll just come out to be a mushy mess. I'm going to put my butter on the skillet over medium heat and melt it. And we're using uh, salted butter? Unsalted. Unsalted? Okay. Yes. You can use salted, whichever you'd rather, but my husband has to have a low sodium diet, so okay. I put sodium everywhere I can. And the amount of butter that we're using is uh, uh, Let's see, for the, uh, just a single recipe, it is three tablespoons, and okay. this is six because I've doubled the recipe. Yes. Okay. All right, she got the butter melted. Got the butter melted, and I'm going to add the sugar. I'm adding a half a cup because the recipe is double for the normal recipe, it's a fourth. Then I'm adding four tablespoons of brown sugar. Stirring to mix these up, and then I will add the apples. Well, that sounds real easy. Yes, we like easy. Okay, so we just let those cook down, or? Yes, just let these cook down. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, Mama, what are you fixing to add? Okay, I'm adding the cinnamon, and it calls for nutmeg, but I really don't care for the nutmeg, so I just always leave it out and just use cinnamon. Okay. Just stir it in really well. It's better if you stir it in before you put that. Okay. All right, we're going to continue to let those cook down. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, it looks like it's starting to cook down a little bit, yeah. but not all the way yet. Right, Mama? Right. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep on letting it cook down. And she's got a lid she's been putting on there. Okay, we got it. Got it going on. Look at that. Ooh, that's looking good. Not quite tender enough, but it won't be long. Okay. Okay, the apples are bubbly and they are tender. 
We're ready to pour them up. Kennedy, do you need to help her pour those? Go ahead and pour them into the serving dish. Maybe not. She, she's, she's a pro. <laughs> she had all boys, so she's used to doing things by herself. Yep. No help in the kitchen. That bowl was perfect. Yes, it was. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm going to uh, oh. pour the apple cider in here in this bowl. I will pour in the cornstarch. We'll have all measurements in the uh, description box. And whisk it up. And if you don't have apple cider, you can use apple juice, right. she said. Okay, she poured her juice from the apples back in here and added it to the cornstarch mixture. And, cider mixture yes. and then whisk it up. Make sure you get all the lumps out of it. How long does this take? Uh, it should take uh, 30 to 60 minutes, and I think it's done. Minutes or seconds? Seconds, I'm sorry. <laughs> seconds, no. <laughs> we don't have to get that late. 30 to 60 seconds. And now, it's got it looks like caramel. Uh-huh. Got the thickness to it. And see, Cracker Barrel, I don't think they put the brown sugar in there, but I love the brown sugar, and it gives it a caramel color. Okay. And then, I'll just pour it. Sauce over the apples. Mm -hmm. And that looks delicious. And that's how you make Mama's fried apples. Yes. And sometimes I use a, uh, an iron skillet. But it's really better to use a nonstick pan to see how, much, how it comes out. Oh, yeah. Really great. And they're best paired with grilled pork chops. Yes. Okay. Or if you want them for dessert, you can get ice cream. <laughs> and it makes a delicious dessert. Uh -huh. Well, they look good. Let's get a close look at those. Those look awesome. Well, thank you, Mama, for sharing your recipe with uh, us. I hope anyone that tries it loves it just as much as we do. Okay, we're finally getting to eat. We've got macaroni and cheese, turnips, fried apples, baked potatoes, and we have grilled um, pork chops. So, it's gonna sit down. Food. <laughs> 